I want to show you how to create this classic graduation card. So to start off, we want to make sure we have the right size. So go to file, click on new, choose the default, which is a 10 by 10, but we're going to change our width to six and our height to eight. Keep your resolution at 300. Go ahead and click create. So the first thing we're going to do is to set our background. So we want to click on our adjustment layer and we are going to choose a solid color. We're going to set our background to black. So next we want to bring in an image, select your image and just drag and drop it into your file. You want to hold down. You want to just hold one end and scale your image and double click now if you click on your move tool and you don't see your show transform you want to make sure that you click on auto select or show transform now if you have an older version of photoshop you will have to click on your layer and you have to go under edit and click on transform then click on scale rotate our image now you need to hold down shift so when you rotate you can rotate in a 90 degrees. We're going to move our image, set it at the top, and we are just going to scale it down. Now, depending on what version of Photoshop you have, you might have to hold down your shift key when you are scaling. I'm going to create a vignette. So we wanna click on our adjustment and we wanna add a gradient. Now we are just adding a black gradient. So if you don't have a black gradient default, you want to double click on your gradient and it will open up your gradient editor. You want to click on your color stop and you want to make sure you choose a black. Go ahead and click OK. Now we also want to make sure our far end is black and we want to click OK. Now when you come to your style, we want to change it to radar. Now we want to click on the reverse. Now I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Click on your image background. Now we want to scale it a little. Click on my font tool. So we are going to use the Operator 52 and I'm going to type in 2. Now when I come out of this, you notice you can see the text. Your text is below so you want to make sure that in your layer style you pull it above all your layers you can double click now make sure that you choose your color we're going to choose a white so we can see and we're going to type in two we are just going to use our move tool to scale it so i'm going to make a copy so command j make a copy and i'm going to move this font up like that i'm going to move this down and set this right here I'm going to change this to O and I'm going to make a duplicate of this other two, command J, make a duplicate and I'm going to set that right here. So I'm going to move my three and set that above and I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop this image in and I'm going to hold down my option and I'm going to clip it. So I'm going to repeat the same concept for all the other three. So now that we have this, we want to create a shadow effect. So I'm going to click on one of the numbers. You want to click on your drop shadow and you notice that it had a different color. So if you want uh, a black or any other color, click on your drop shadow. Then you want to click on your color and you want to choose the black. And I'm going to go ahead and increase my spread a little and also my size a little. So I'm going to click on my two and I'm going to right click. I'll make a copy of my layer style. So right click, paste layer style, right click, paste layer style. So now that we have this, we want to go ahead and pick up our type tool and we are going to go ahead and type in graduate. I'm going to change my font and I'm going to move my text and notice that when I move it is right below my font. I want to set it on top. Now go into your layers panel and you want to move your text above all your other layers. Now we want to add a drop shadow, right click and say paste layer style. So the same background shadow effect is applied to 
your other text. Now we want to go ahead and add in the graduate's name. So I'm going to pick up my type tool and you want to make sure that you click your top layer. So your text shows above and I'm just going to go ahead and type in and I'm going to highlight, change it to dazzle unicase thin. So now that I have it centered, I want to go ahead and also infuse the gold image on that. So I'm going to go back to my folder and I'm going to hold down my options and I'm going to clip it. So with this set, we want to go ahead and add in our uh, info on the bottom and I'm just going to use a regular font which is the time Roman and I'm just going to go ahead and type and I'm going to make a duplicate command J I'm going to highlight I'm going to change this font so notice that when it came to the uh, these other two texts I had to type it in individually so that I can move it um, and align it the way that I want. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to pick up our line tool and we are going to hold down shift. We want to just draw a break line so that it breaks it between the date and the location. Now, under your property, you want to go under your appearance for your line and we are going to increase our stroke effect to three so that we can basically see our line. Now I'm going to go ahead and make a copy command J. I'm going to add in my address to center our information. We want to click on our text, hold down shift, select all the text on the bottom. And we are just going to use our move tool and we're going to center this. Now we want to go ahead and bring in a tensor since this is a graduation. So I'm going to go back to my folder and I'm going to drag and drop this P and G. Click on our layer in our layers panel. We want to go ahead and choose the hue and saturation. Now we want to hold down our option. We want to clip the layer above to our tassel only. So I'm going to click on the down arrow to apply it. Now we want to move our lightness all the way to 100. Hold down shift and right click to merge layer since we want it to remain on white. Zoom in, pick up my lasso tool and I'm just going to trace around this portion. So with my selection, I want to go ahead and add a new layer and with my paint bucket, I'm going to paint that in as black. I'm going to press command D to deselect. Now I want to infuse the gold effect on that little portion so i'm going to go ahead to make a copy of my gold so i'm going to click on that layer command c to make a copy and then i'm going to click on my top layer command v so i'm going to go ahead to scale it down just like that and i'm going to zoom back in and we're just going to set it right there. I'm going to hold down my option key and I'm going to clip. We want to add a camera raw effect to basically bump up the colors. So you want to click on your top layer. You want to hold down shift option command E. You want to make one file. Now you want to go up to your filter and you want to click on camera raw filter. Now with the dialog box open for you, you can increase the temperature, which will bump up the richness of your gold. You can also increase your contracts and you can go ahead and increase your vibrance if you want. Now we can go ahead and click OK. This is the before. Now this is the after. If it's too much, you can actually decrease the opacity of your final um, image. So we want to go ahead and group this work that we have done. So click on your bottom layer, hold down shift, click on your top layer, and we are going to click on the new group icon. So it groups it for us. You can double click and name it. And we want to create the backside of our card. So we are going to click on our class icon to add a new layer. We are going to go back to our images and I'm going to drag and drop this image in. And Photoshop wants to know if you want to enhance your photo before you bring it in. So that's why you have the camera or effect. If you don't need to enhance your photo, you can click OK and Photoshop will 
generate and bring in your image for you. So we are going to pick up our type tool and we are going to use the Sentry Gothic font and I'm going to use my move tool. I'm going to go ahead to scale and I'm going to rotate holding down my ship and I'm going to move this and set that right there. Going to scale, holding one end. You can have a font which is already an outline text so I can double click on this and I can change this to an outline text that I already have. Now if you don't have an outline text and you want to create an outline text of any font in Photoshop, there is another way to do it. So I'm going to press Command Z to go back. Now what you want to do is you want to make a duplicate of this text. So Command J, make a duplicate. We want to save the original font so we don't lose it. So we're going to turn off the visibility and with the copy, you want to right click and say convert to shape. Once you've converted to shape, you want to go under your tools and you want to click on your path selection tool. You want to come up to your options above, click on your fill and you want to click and you want to remove the fill color and you want to go under your stroke. You want to choose a color. So we're going to set it to white and we will set our pixels to five. Deselect you can see that you have an outline text. Now you can use this effect on any font that you have in Photoshop. Now we can click on our font and we can add a drop shadow. So you can double click, the layer style comes up. You can add a drop shadow, click OK. Now we want to go ahead and reduce our text a little. Now we want to go ahead and add an outline to our image. I'm going to go under my shapes and I'm going to pick up my rectangle and I'm just going to draw. Now with these corners that have been set, you want to hold one of your corner and you want to take it all the way out. Now we want to come under our property in your stroke. You want to set this to let's say 30. So guys, I hope that this was helpful. Please give this video a thumbs up, like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye y'all.